Now, normally I don't show you guys empty cases, but uh, I just wanted to make a little note here that you guys don't see me collect ones for myself. I don't really put it out there, but I do. Uh, like this Nintendo Land, for example, the uh, Wii U. Uh, it is complete, and um, it's in perfect condition. They didn't put any stickers on it. I don't even know why such a new console would uh, be in the dumpster like that. It usually doesn't happen, you know what I mean, until it's into its lifespan somewhat. But uh, I'm going to keep that for myself because you never know when I can happen upon a Nintendo Land Disc. Um, for the Wii U. It's such a great case, I just can't see throwing it out. And I also did that for Super Mario Galaxy 2 for the Wii and Batman the video game because the cases are in good condition and they're complete. That actually has cheat codes in it. So I don't think this is complete now. But um yeah, so I'm gonna keep these because I figure the Wii's are gonna be easier to find just disc only because you know uh, GameStop, GameStop's gonna switch to disc only and liquidate the Wii's really, really soon. So uh, I figure, why not? I thought this was strange, but to find uh, PlayStation One um, cases now, I have found one or two before at the video game store. It's just really rare, and uh, I didn't expect it. The only downside is it's just the back art, the cases. And uh, that's it. No manual, no games. And it's that's really disappointing considering um, I'm a huge Crash Bandicoot fan. And I haven't played that in, phew, man, you got to be 10 years at least. But, uh, so yeah, Crash Bandicoot Warp. That would have been, these. this would just would have been a great find right here. Here's Crash Bash. Here's uh, Army Men Air Attack. And then uh, Mega Man 8. Would have been great to have that, too. The cases are really nice, too. I mean, what you... I find a lot worse at uh, the flea market. Cases all shattered and shit, but... Um, so I'm just going to save these. I'm going to... Because you never know. I might stumble upon the, the manual to this. And then the disc... You know, uh, going to the flea market, you always find... Uh, some some manual in a different game, and then a whole spindle full of old PlayStation 1, just uh, the CDs for 50 cents. So where somebody might charge me uh, way too much for this Mega Man 8, um, I could probably find a disc for 50 cents somewhere, and then the manual floating around where someone's just like, oh, here, take it. So I'm going to pack these away, and then... We'll do a, a matchup, which I, I enjoy doing matchups, especially from dumpster diving. You find something and you match it up to something else. So, uh, 3DA, 3DS box here. It's in really good shape. And comes with the manuals. Let's see here. Yep, we got, uh, we got the manuals. There's a quick start guide, the manual, it does have a little bit of water damage up there. And then we have a uh, receipt, we paid $180 for it, and the AR cards, I, I thought these were important, but I guess not, huh? Because they're in all the boxes, so, and then the uh, Club Nintendo points, which I'm going to, I used them, but I'm going to keep them with the box, so that way years down the the line, you know how collectors want them all complete, so they'll have it complete. And <clears throat> here's a cool uh, Nintendo DS. I thought uh, Metro Metroid um, fans would uh, really like this. But the real cool part was what was in this? I knew. Was... Yeah, this is what was really cool with this. Check this out. Came with the manual, we got the uh, Nintendo points, um, Metroid Prime Hunters First Hunt. It's like the little demo game, but it's got the manual, and then I guess the slot here would be the game, which kind of dents it, but uh, the, the game demo was in there. So I thought that was neat. I mean, so for a free collector's piece, I'm definitely gonna. I mean, of course, 
if somebody doesn't hit me up to get this and make a trade, I'm definitely going to put this in my collection and lock down this uh, this DS. <laughs> and the whole thing's complete. All I need is that DS, which uh, I'm sure wouldn't be too hard to find. So that's easy right there because I have the manual, I have that booklet, and I have the uh, um, game now. So that's pretty cool. Now, uh, don't mind the wee box. Um, I actually found two more of these. I already have one. Um, they're all complete. This one's in real good condition. They're all complete. They got everything, even the AR cards, uh, charging dock, and then we have another one, but the uh, it's got a sticker on it. This uh, needed to be taped, a little cut there. But this one, the AR cards are in way better condition. And everything's wrapped up. And we'll take a look inside of here. It's got, uh, I guess this is the stylus that comes with it. That's pretty cheap looking, but I guess that comes with it. The uh, charging dock was never even taken out of the foam, so that's a mint. And let's see, we found this purple one. I don't believe anything came in this one, however. Yeah, there's nothing in this one. Not purple, what am I talking about? It's pink. But it was a uh, PS Vita. Found this one. Now, I believe this came with, yeah, all its paperwork and then uh, these cards, which I, I gotta get one of these handhelds because I'm confused on what those cards even do. But, um, PS Vita box, in decent shape for a collector. We got these magazines from PlayStation. It's, uh, what, PlayStation magazine inside the issue. So that'll be good because it really breaks down uh, PlayStation 4. I mean, it goes over all the, uh, you know, uh, launch titles and... Listen, it just breaks it all down. So, those are pretty neat. Another Game Informer. A Ghost Recon. I believe this one is fine. It hasn't been cut. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. And then, here was a little store exclusive. For anyone who collects, uh, you know, the store products. This is brand new. They had two of them. One was all written in and and shredded and whatever but this is brand new so if anyone some people hit me up for uh, the store collectibles they enjoy them. But, and there was uh, Lynx crossbow training now I know I found other stuff that went with this I believe the manual whatever I found it on different dives I even found some of it in this dive because I know I seen little papers or uh, a cardboard thing with that logo on it so I'm gonna have to try to find those as I'm going through this so I'll set that off to the side because I'm kind of boxing guys, we have a, a poster haul um, <clears throat> this is now this this frame was a dollar store haul a uh, what was in it was just a giant dollar with a money sign um, the material is real weird it's like a plastic the dollar one and it crumbles and then shatters like glass so it was really strange with a, I don't know. Anyway, um, so the frame was, I found three of them. I freaking love them. I'm going to put my Walking Dead poster in one and figure out what to do with the other two for my future game room. There's, I haven't even counted them, but there's a whole box of Destiny ones. Two of them are damaged. They were hang, hung up, I guess, but that's fine because I, I need to damage one to display them when I'm selling them. But you guys have probably seen that image before. Destiny, and then the opposite side, because they're all double-sided, is uh, that image. It's pretty neat, you know. And if anyone wants a poster, uh, I don't like my posters folded. If you really don't care, I could fold it to send it to you. I, I absolutely refuse. I won't pay shipping, so you're going to have to just throw a few bucks in my uh, PayPal account for shipping and a, um, a donation or whatever. Uh, 
uh, and I'm sorry, um, I'm starting to build up a good reputation for uh, dealing with people. You could check with Cobra Timmy, you could check with um, NES 8-Bit Collector, uh, uh, there's just a number of others. Um, Dumpster Marcus, uh, you can check with all those. Uh, I don't play around, I pack it well. Um, I'm not going to steal your five dollars. Go to PayPal, I prefer friends and family. I'm not trying to get fined and feed because if I ask for a donation of like a dollar to my page, that's pretty much going to get eaten up, most of it in the fees anyway. For some reason I got, somebody threw a dollar in my account and for some reason I only received 66 cents. So I don't know what that's about, but I don't know. I can't see them, I don't know, I just, that's so, that's so much, 60, anyway. So, there's the Destiny, Diablo, and it's Destiny, Diablo, and here's the pre sell see, do not release before February 2017, looks like, and here's more destinies. So I didn't even count how many is there, but well, we got two, four, six, eight, ten, two, about well, twenty. I guess that uh, sounds about right. So I would say I have about thirty good destiny posters. And this one I want to hang in my future game room coming up. I really, really like this, and I'm a real fan of. Uh, I played the older ones growing up for PlayStation. And the PlayStation 2. He's a huge fan of the series. Unfortunately, I have not played more of the more recent ones, but uh, I really like this sideways picture. And unfortunately, I only received one of these. I would have liked. See me struggling with this damn thing? That's pretty cool. I really would have liked. Um, to find, you know, instead of the Diablo, because I already have, you know, 40 of them, I really would have liked to find 15 or 20 of these. I think a lot of you guys would have enjoyed that. So I have two tubes here. Um, I just started doing the Nintendo points that I'm going to find in Dumpster Diving. I stacks. Anyway, so I hit up the Nintendo Club, and I got the uh, limited edition Donkey Kong posters, and they're really nice. Alright, hopefully you guys can see that, but here is uh, the one poster. What do we have? Uh, Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong. And these posters are phenomenal. It's like, the material is, it feels like a real photograph. You know how that photograph has that really glossy, really thick feeling? Well, it's a little thinner, so it rolls up, but it's just excellent material. It's not just your regular average poster material. I believe that's the history of Donkey Kong. Yeah, Donkey Kong's history. I really like that one, so I'm glad I have uh, doubles of these. And as a collector, I, you're always worried about something getting destroyed. Having doubles of these, I always know if something happened to one, I have a double to replace it. Here's another one. This is uh, more of a non-gloss uh, finish on it, and it really fits you know what I mean the um, the retro image. one of the coolest things out of the mega hall I was super excited about getting it Juliet I might need your help young lady do you want to help daddy Juliet Hayes will you quit Look, tormenting the puppy my legs. <laughs> I see him come here come here no no one wants to see your fingers dance take this take this take this Take it! <laughs> no, 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 no. Here. Take that. Dude, it smells delicious. It smells, huh? It smells new. Now listen, we're going to stand it up like this so they can see it. Ready? Come on. Pick it up and show them. Okay. Hold it up. There you go. Hold it up. Hold it up. Hold it up. Hold it up. Can you see it? It's a big ass banner. It's a big hey. banner. It's brand new. It's brand new. Vinyl is made for Vinyl. outdoors. And it's in it. These are made for lights, actually. Although I don't know if I'll have a wall big enough. 
Yeah, maybe. Uh, what is this? Brian Stetzer? It's next to the Guitar Center, so... <clears throat> Omerta slipcover again. That would have been cool. But this is a brand new case. Like, if I ever want to switch these out, and I do that often, I, uh, I'll switch all this out and I'll save all the contents, and uh, I'll just use the case for a, uh, you know, a replacement case. Or you might sell like a dozen of them on eBay. Ah, here's the slip cover for the Allen Wake. Goes right over that big book, but the book itself, uh, that does, that looks pretty cool. So I don't know, I don't know. That's a toss up. I don't think I would use that. Yeah, here's that Chin Chan that's all sealed up. Uh, we got Dragon Ball. We got a replacement case here. Here's another mag with the disc jumping out at me, trying to get away. Just like, get me out. Here's that Jimmy Neutron. And what's behind it? Another mag. Hey, uh, NES 8-bit. Want to do another uh, bundle? Alright. If anyone wants that mag, man, send me the shipping. You can have it. You know what I mean? There's uh, just a case. Another mag. They should have named it Maggot. Mag. WrestleMania for the original Xbox. Uh, you Draw Studios for the Wii. It seems pretty cool. For a kid, you know. Complete. So that was pretty cool. But then I, I think you can't use it unless you have this thing. So, uh, yeah. Requires that game tablet. This? Oh, yeah. Alright, look at this. Now, I'm running out of time, so I can't really... I'll open it. It comes with the game, and all the uh, inserts and everything. It just does not come with that uh, Pokey Walker. Now, this is the third one I found, and I've been making it my mission to save these and collect these, because uh, um, I just... I don't know. It looks like it'll be worth something back in the, in the day. You know what I mean? I don't know. Why not? I'm not just gonna throw it away. It's, it looks like gold, man. It's fucking gold. <sighs> anyway, uh, that's yo. This was brand new. I there can't be anything wrong with this. I opened this up, and it's real nice looking. It's a uh, PlayStation 3 headset, Bluetooth. If I can get it out. I mean, look at this thing. It's Brand new. Waste. I found two of these. Three of them, actually. Uh, one's in a gray and red box. I'll show you. It's actually holding this stand up. But we got that one. And then that gray and red box one. Uh, look at this. Got Epic. We got two of those. We got another version of Epic. There's two of those. And then we have four, they're all the same, G.I. Joe's. But I mean, they're the real deal. So that actually, these actually came out of a Best Buy. Uh, now, as everyone knows, Best Buy has compactors. So you can't dive in them, but uh, um, their compact is broken right now. So they actually brought in uh, like a little dumpster, and they they literally dump it and empty it. Uh, literally every morning it gets emptied. So I dive there at night, and honestly, I'm kind of surprised I found nothing. You know, besides that, other than that, it's styrofoam and bullshit so let's take a look over here we got the Saints Row standy now the arms a little bent but we'll fix that all you do is uh, you basically just build a brace back there 
and then you stick this one to this one with a foam block that's about an inch in, in thickness it keeps it sturdy and you do it at the uh, bend point so it keeps that straight up and you're, you're fixed uh, I have the pieces to these they're actually down in there I'm flattening them out they look good it gives it the 3D effect if you've seen it in stores uh, I found two of these these are cheap though if you can look if you look real close see how it's cracking apart if you fold this in any way it literally uh, trying to get light here yeah right there it literally will crack apart on you now this can't have Nintendo seal of approval because that's some shitty work right there so we have this standy uh, my favorite is this is the second time I found this and my, the thing I like about it is it has these uh, um, the black rim around it like the frame and it's a Wii now if you watch in my other video I have a uh, Wii, Wii U, and a Nintendo 3DS. So, um, there's a couple extras here I haven't gotten into. Uh, you need to subscribe to my channel, Ronnie Hayes, because we're going to go in depth with these game planners. And if you guys want to know whether or not uh, GameStop gives their employees a four day rentals of the video games, uh, the answer is in here. This is a GameStop. Uh, game planner all their secrets right in here not really but it'll you'll see just subscribe to Ronnie Hayes anyway uh, this came out of Barnes & Noble I check often for these I love these things uh, what else what else what else yeah this this is actually the best find of it all hear them coming up the steps so we gotta hurry it is the longest uh, Grand Theft Auto banner yeah, vinyl hey guy. what do you got show what? daddy Hi. what'd Hi. you get what is it though that thick, it's jam-packed. I can barely get this one little thin poster in it. It's jam-packed with posters. So, and they're all the same one. And it's this, this map. What is it? The world of Pokemon X and Y. And then it has... Which, although I won't be... Wanting one of these or hanging one of these up. Pokemon are very popular, so uh, I won't have any problems whatsoever getting rid of these at a yard sale. So that's all right. We have this infinity box. Now, promotional materials and items and things like that is probably my favorite finds in the dumpster, personally. I absolutely love them because they're rare. Uh, somebody can't just go into a store and buy them, you know what I mean? So, uh, it's really rare. I'm probably one of, you know, a limited number of people who have this. And it's, it, it is incomplete. You can tell they gave out more stuff than what I found in here. But let's take a look. So, we have a really nice um, glossy box. It was made really nice. I mean, really, really nice. It doesn't feel like it was made to be thrown right away. So, unfortunately, it probably was. But, uh thrown right away of course but it was made really nice the inside is just nice it, you know you have your uh, you have a promotional paper you got another promotional paper you have your uh, land lanyard which is neat because I collect lanyards and uh, you have a, a t-shirt so and the t-shirt has everyone on it and this is uh, an extra large which is cool you know it's not small or nothing um, I just feel like there was more in it, you know? So, I'm assuming this was for the businesses themselves to get them into promoting it because one of the papers talks about thank you so much, thank you for your support. Look at me! Look at me! Oh, paper copy!